Still doing around for you, Ralphie Customs. First day back after the new year. Well, first day back filming. I was here yesterday and did a bit of something else that I didn't film. So anyway, thanks for coming back. Here's to a great uh, 2024. Yeah, and let's do it. So, off we go. I've just, uh, do you like me? I'm sorry for this shit that you can see, look where my finger is, but that's what we've got. I've got my phone holder on the dash, uh, on the screen, holding my phone. Uh, and we're in the VR6, and we've just spoken to our lovely farmer, bless him, and he's, uh, his words to me is that I was leaving the yard, was, where do you think you're going? Because <laughs> you're not going to get anywhere. Apparently, right, I have three ways of getting to the workshop, which I'll explain very shortly as I get down the end of our road. Well, we're on the road now, off the track. So, at the end of here, I can turn, uh, I can go straight across, well, left then right, which takes us uh, down a road called Sawgate, which is under three foot of water. Or I can go right to, uh, left towards Melton Mowbray, but the road from Melton Mowbray to my workshop is officially closed because of flood or I can go left sorry fuck me I can go right here and try and get uh, down the back way uh, a road called Cuckoo Hill so on my on my actual left here is the flats and there used to be a fucking race course here back in the day in the 1800s I think might have been the early 1900s anyway I digress so bear with me we're on a bit of an adventure, let's fucking give it some while we can. You gotta love a V6, ain't you? Um, and we'll see if we can get Cuckoo Hill and uh, Stapleford Bridge is apparently flooded out. So if that's fucked, I'm fucked. We'll see. I'll join you in a minute. Right, uh, we're just coming up on Cuckoo Hill. Look, Saxby four miles, Stapleford two and a half miles. We've actually gone the wrong way. We've gone, not the wrong way, though. This is the fucking long way around. And uh, as you can see, we're, we're hardly uh, on the uh, asphalt. We're hardly on the motorway, are we? You know what I mean? It's a single track lane. We're passing points. And sometimes it gets busy. And unfortunately, people don't quite understand how the passing point system fucking works. If you reach the last one, if mate is coming the other way and there's passing points dotted along, whichever one gets to a passing point last, if you like, uh, is supposed to pull in and they don't understand it. I'm not explaining it very well, but if someone comes, you'll see. I'll show you. Here we go. Look, someone come in, go, I stop. There we go. He waves, everyone tap it. Now, if someone else comes and they're past their passing point, I stop here and let them use the passing point on my right because that's what you fucking do. Last one to a passing point stops. Right, wish me luck. This is a bit of a fucking trek. I'm having to take it steady in the old fucking growler as well. Since the demise of the fucking red van, which I drive anywhere, obviously, because I fucked it in the flood, being a wanker. I can't believe that, I'm gutted, but there you go. It's been destroyed, I've had a notice of destruction from our government uh, saying that the van has been destroyed. So that's that's just it, close the page, fucking turn the, another chapter in my life, fucking ruined, <laughs> gone like. So yeah, I'll take you steady in the growler. We're only doing, we're doing 40 mile an hour and just ticking over. It gets rough down here, so, uh, We'll see how it goes. And then I'm going to turn left at the bottom and I've got about two miles before I hit what could be the, the uh, dead end due to fucking flood. We'll see. Right, so we're at the bottom of that road. On the left is the turn into my village, Burton Lazars. 
and it is fucking closed. It's proper closed, like from that point where I just showed you road ahead close signs. The farmers and the locals, bless them, um, take it upon themselves to sign it so people don't get fucked up in the deep water. You reckon it was three foot deep down there last night, which is where I blew the van up, where I destroyed the van's engine in the flood. Um, wait for it. Can you hear that? That detritus. There's all fucking shit and stones and gravel and rocks that's washed off the land onto this uh, track, we'll call it. It's a lane, isn't it? It's a country lane. But fucking, it's like Beirut. The fucking road is. Uh, I can't ride a rigid motorbike down here, even in the good weather, faster than fucking 20 mile an hour. Otherwise, I'll crack a frame or a fucking vertebrae. Now, ahead, uh, in the distance, you might see there's some cars stopped. And I'm really hoping that they're fucking turning into uh, the very posh bit on the right here. The staple for the state who own most of what's all around us. Uh, and they've not stopped because the fucking road's closed. Because this could be... Get a shit in the road. This could be the end of my fucking journey. Right, we're coming up on it now. I've just been through some big fucking puddles. Just over the crest of this rise, you see the fucking road drops away. Oh, that's not so right. Stapleford Bridge is all right. There's a raised footpath. Let's go inside that car. And if there's water over this fucking... If there's water over here, I'm turning around. I fucked it. See, the fields... Oh, wow. I wish I could show you, but I can't. But the fields to the left and the right are just totally, totally fucking immersed. Um, and, you know, it's a bit of a flood here, but nothing too bad. There's a raised footpath. See that on the right is a raised footpath because of the fucking water. And uh, let's let this try to come up. Oh, he's flashing me. Oh, I flew it. Hold on, I stole it. Oh, well, now we go. Look, it's fucking confusing. Bluetooth Everywhere. Connected. The old Bluetooth connected as well. Happy days. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, we've made it. We've actually made it. My workshop is in a compound, um, which you may get a glimpse of on the left as we come up on over the railway here. So, hopefully, that's going to be my commute from now on. They're closing the main road in Melton, uh, to Melton, from our village to Melton like fucking wankers, because they're doing a, a, a bypass and they're fucking closing the road. They're cutting off the village, and with the floods and everything else, the route I've just taken, it will be my daily commute. So here we go, we're here. Right, now we actually made it in. There's a few things on the cards for this first week back in 2024. Um, here's me diner, right? I actually, I'm fucking struggling. I'm struggling with the rear end, who her missus. Uh, you may, regular readers all know I've made these spaces and whatnot to fit that mug guard, and I need to get the wheel spaces dialed in because they ain't, I don't know if, look, you see how I'm moving because it's not tight and the swing on properly. I need to make sure everything lines up. So I'm going to make uh, some wheel spacers, some stainless steel rear wheel spacers. Uh, you, you may recall again that we made the front ones out of stainless steel. These lovely little jobbies, look. Yeah, so we're going to um, make some rear ones. And before that, we're going to get on our Dermox and we're going to mount the seat right so we're going to get rid of this tacky cheap bracket that's on the seat and use one of my patented they're not patented and i don't make them i buy them in but they're fucking lovely heavy duty i'm gonna to have to clean things up and sort something out here because that welds on there so we'll cut them ears off and clean this shit up and then we need to spin up some bobbins to that go through here to take the rear springs so we're going to be welding on here and uh, on here so we need to take off the precious bits and cover up stuff that won't get detritus upon it
Right, so we need to clean that up a bit better with a wire brush on the uh, on the die grinder. But meantime, we're just dropping the electrics box, and there is this fucking earth strap. It's failing to yield. Uh, I love that out. And now we can get enough slack through one way or another to get that down and out the way so we can cover it up because we're going to weld here and then we're going to weld here and I'm hoping I can do it with a mug guard in because if to set a mug guard out I reckon I've got to take a back wheel out to be fair so uh, that's the job I don't really want to do but we'll see I reckon I could get enough weld on these, nice and nice, and nice. but I don't want to get any spatter or fuck this box up. So, drop that down, I'll get that covered up. I'll get this wire brushed off, you didn't see me do that in the uh, hyperlapse, whatever it's called. Yeah, time lapse thing, that you just saw me doing. That actually took about five minutes. And it's down to fucking six seconds for you, or maybe three minutes, four minutes, no, I'm waffling. So, what I'm saying is we drop that down as far as we can, yeah, <clears throat> we'll get it covered up, we've trimmed the ears off that lot, and that'll sit across there nicely, it'll bridge all of this shit, we're not too worried about the hole, it's not going to break because of that, and we're going to weld a bracket straight over it, we're going to reinforce it, look, with this big meaty murph, so I'll get that tagged on off camera. And then we can look at making the rear bobbins and cleaning this shit up. So we can weld them on. Right, more on the fly shenanigans. We just uh, we've got a tack on. Oh, that's tacked on. Just drop the socket. Bear with. Uh, we are having the uh, the tinny old bracket off. There, look. Without dropping everything, which is not easy to do one handed, that's a bit, that's a bit in there a bit. Uh, I'll get this off, <laughs> I'll get this off somehow, like that, three, somehow like that, uh, and then we'll get it mounted on that, on the new one. Yeah, I need two hands, so we'll do that, we'll make sure it's sitting pretty. And then we'll get another tack on. We'll probably weld down this side and the other side just to keep that secure. Uh, and then we'll look at making bobbins for the springs, which is going to be interesting. This goes far forward as I can make it somewhere there, like I think. Only up a lot. Right, oh, so that is now nice and even. It needs to go up, like I say. So. It's going to affect the angle of the dangle of the fucking springs. We'll have to put a bit of a kink in them. Well, not a kink. A bit of a curve in them. I'm not uh, a fan of these particular things. Like I don't, they don't do it for me. I like a scissor springs, but hey ho. You know, it is what it is. So that's on there, on there firm as well. I thought I was going to have to make a, a spacer because it's tight, tight at the front, but it sits all right. It's, it's nipped up, lovely. Yeah, so next up I'm gonna make some boingy boingy fucking bobbins that are gonna weld on here. Right, remember the tick from our Dave? David, I know you watch. Right, the uh, it's like a fat fucking person, that is. It, it won't get kidnapped, you can't pick it up. He sent me another gift, bless him. If I can find it. Hold on a sec. Twat. It's right under my nose. Right. He sent me this lining up tool, so you put this in your lease and then you run it against what you're trying to true up and it trues it up. I made myself one for the little lathe for the old fucking Atlas. Um and I, I think I made one for this but I don't use it. And I should. I should have it set up. Have a look. Is it in the never used tools section? No. And the measuring section. We have. No. So, fuck knows. Like I say, maybe I didn't make one, I can't remember. But I know I've not. Here it is, look. Here's my version. 
which is same sort of thing, but I think that's better. Better off. It's nice and sturdy and chunky monkey, so we'll probably get that set up in its own little holder. And happy days, thank you, Dave. I really appreciate it, mate. I really do. I will use that. <laughs> Don't forget folks, our Fuckstock stickers are now available in our Etsy store, link in the description below. Fuckstock, you know it makes sense. Right oh, so, I need two bits of this, 43mm long, so, We'll leave a good chunk hanging out, like 55 ish. Nearly not good enough for this, roughing out. Yeah, and we'll get our face up. I'm just going to move you, bear with. Oh, I know, so you're nicely in my way, which is normal. I'm actually looking through the fucking camera. <laughs> so I fly by wire, it feels ever so weird. I don't mind telling you. But we'll get our face up like that. Um, and I reckon that's 25 mil diamond top, so I'm going to touch on there. I'm set my read out to 25 mil. X equals 25. And I want it 24 mil. So I'm going to do a bit of that. Look. There she blows, Captain. We'll send that down to 43 plus 3 for the tool is 46. And then we'll look at machining the uh, smaller end on the end. Right. We're going to take this down in 60 thou cuts. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be 20 mil along. So let's get it about there. Which is there. Bang on 20. Right, 3 mil off, 21 wrong. So 18 for the next one. Here we go. That'll give us uh, well, five mil up, so we'll do two at two and a half. We'll go 15 and a half for the next one. Yep. 15 and a half is there. Happy days. We'll send that down. All right. There we go. And finally 13 mil to go through the spring on the underside of the seat is come on there. Last cut. Ain't it? So that's a nice finish on that bit. It's, it's not so nice on the other bit. <clears throat> right, let's put some chamfers on. Before I do that, I'm gonna clean this. And clean that up. Not the nicest looking. So we'll clean that up. Yeah. Like so, 21 that is. I think it's not happy. And we'll just zero that again. I think the thing's moved. Yeah. So we'll set this down to 20, which is just coming up. There we go. 20, wind it into 13. Like that. And then I'll be out sorted. We just need to break that edge. A little chamfer. Um, same with this. A bit more of a chamfer. And dress it up with a file without cramping it against the tool like I nearly did then. Give that a bit of a clean because the finish ain't great. Uh, and that is sorted. Last job. We've got our parting off. So we'll touch that exit we cleaned up. There, look. Zero off. Uh, and what did we say we want? 23 plus 3 for the blade is going to be 26, which is fucking there. Yeah, bang on the nose. Let me lock off my saddle. And. 
lip, oh sorry, give us a bit of lube. Now we can send it, get this bit parted off. It's going to be smoky on this cold January morning. Hey, <sighs> when hot lube meets cold air, who her misses? Sorted, boosh. We forgot it, didn't we? We're fucking jumping the gun a bit with the sea of it, the milling machine. We've got to address these, the back end of it, like. And what we need to do is get rid of that nipple and then come in <clears throat> with a centre drill. Yeah, let me get this tool out of the way. Hold on, bear with. I'm going to quick change that out of the way. Ooh. I can move this fucker along and get snug up. Look. And we need to drill a pocket in the back here. Yeah? About three quarters of an inch, oh, sorry. About three quarters of an inch or so. Nine, bit under 19, I've got one here. I'll drill a bit here ready. We have here a drill bit. Uh, I think that's fucking shocking, isn't it? Shocking baby. So we'll just get that started like that and then switch out. Right, so we switch down to that. 47 64 sort of three quarter yeah slow things down slow things down to a gentle 300 ripples and we only need to go in about 15 mil or so as a maximum line so we're just giving ourselves a bit of a thinner wall to weld to when we come to welding them onto the frame rails because we don't want to have to weld a solid fucking 24 mil nugget on there do we? Where are we at now? That's 10 mil. So I will carry on, I'll lube it up again. That's, that's what separates this from the animals. Check out the merchandise in the description below. I'm actually wearing a, a lube hoodie as, as I speak. Right, I'll get that wound into the necessary. Uh, break the edges off camera. We go. We're nearly there, you might as well stay with me. Stay with us, yeah. There's 12 mil. It's 14. Uh, go a little bit more. I'm showing now 16 on the slide, so I'll just wind it out and check that we were actually on 10 and we weren't. I need to go a little bit deeper, but I won't bore you with that. Right, so that's done. We spread it up in the end, just stuck it up a notch to 400. Well, 480 ribbons. Oh, just to finish off, I'll break the edges. And now we've got a little pocket so we're not welding up a solid chunk of fucking steel onto the frame. I mean, for nicer for welding. But we do need to take it over to the milling machine. Fucking it's hot. Now, what's that? Fucking. Um, I need to throw it at the milling machine. And machine that rate, fuck that, machine that radius, yeah, see you in a minute. Right, oh, so, we've got this one set up ready to machine out with this uh, one inch cutter. I've not used these for a while. I, I used, used to use them all the time, fucking great this kit. Anyway, we've got the other one the other end, to stop the jaws of the vice pissing up and spitting this out. And we've got a wibbly wobbly tool up. I'm going to try and demonstrate. Uh, I'll just drop it down a little bit, to there. And we'll wind that in. Look, so we're winding our wide feed out, if you like, until that smooths out. Yeah, it's about there. And then it'll kick at that. Right? So that's that's where we mark our zero. So we zero this off. And then we we'll do the same with the other side. Right, so on, oh, hold on. Wibbly wobble it, nice and smooth, like that, and then it kicks there. And we see that's 20.15, and we divide it by two, and it gives us uh, 10.075. So we do the same 10.075. 10.075 is not easy to hit when you've only got one hand. Oh, bugger, come on, see what I mean when you've only got one hand, I'm holding the camera in the other hand, and then we zero it, yeah, if I can, so bear with, zero, zero, 
and we know that that's the middle. So when we set this tool in, put Bob on the centre of the job. I'm going to slow this down and I'm going to tool up with that and then we'll check a, a put off the end there. Right, with that set up, we've locked this off midway, like I said. Uh, we're going to drop this down and at the same time, just wind the job across until it just touches like that. Yeah. That is just touching that tool. So, we'll zero off. And I think we'll go half a mil. So, 20,000. That seems an ambitious cut. Because yeah. <clears throat> I'm not over sure. We're not holding it by as much as I'd like, if that makes sense. But let's see what that does. 20,000. Oh, it's just a piss out. What about that? Straight, straight through. A little bit top and bottom. Now, as we progress with the cut, the amount of material we're taking every time will increase. The cut will get larger because we're starting to make that radius, aren't we? That is what we're after. So, I don't want to just go fucking steering in, taking big 40 tail cuts at a time with this bit of tool steel. Right. This is two mil, so we're about halfway there. Let's give it a squirt. Just on it, on it. There we go. Yeah, nice and steady. And so on and so forth. You can join me for the final cut. There we go, three and a half mil I've gone for. 3.5. Come on, there. Which is there. Uh, one final squirt, one final, nice and steady. Once we've done this, we also need to drill a through hole for the split pin. Through here, don't we? So, oh, sorry, too far on the switch. I'm reaching round for now, for now. Um, we need to drill an hole in for the circlip or the split pin or whatever we're going to use. I might do that in the pillar job, in the mighty meddings, I think. Right, so we're over at the mighty meddings and we're going to drill a little through hole to take the split pin. And we've just marked a couple of uh, marker pen lines that you probably... Oh, you can. Yeah, you can see them. And that's where we're going to date them for the next one. Because that should get us where we need to be. Now... Just gonna get this started. Give it a spot of lube. It's white and frothy that is, it's got moisture in it. Just finishing the bottle. Uh, and then I'm gonna look at my clips and see what size I need to do this hole, so bear with. Right, three and a half millimeters it is. It's slight over eighth. So I'll just have this through. Nice and steady. And then we'll flip it over and we'll, in fact, I'll put the centre drill back in. I won't show you what there we go. What I'm going to do, loop that up though. I've got one in the truck in, it's gone. Get over it. Right. Have this through here, look. Like right, this. Nice and steady. Boom. And then we'll turn that off and stop it with the brake and then safety third I'll have that out of the way and we'll pop this back in I am I'm on tender hooks to be honest I'm listening for rain because if it starts to rain I need to get in my car and fuck off because I don't want to get stuck that little flood that you saw me go through on the way here won't be getting smaller as the day goes on I don't think because of all the there we go, just touch that with that. And that breaks the edge nicely. I'll spin it over. Yeah, that flood is runoff from the fields. And we're talking miles of fucking fields, like, not, not just the ones that I could see from a car. That is taking on for a while, so there's no guarantee that water won't be rising as we speak. And if it starts raining, then I'm off. Happy days, that's ready to go. I'll do the other one off camera and then you can join me back at the bike.
No, there they are in situ. There, 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 there. There they are in situ. What I'll do off camera is clean and paint off. Ready for a weld up. Yeah. You can see the through holes. Ready to take a split pin. And we'll weld the front up. So, what I'll do, I'm digressing a bit. I'll get it I'll, off camera, I'll clean all this shit off. You don't need to see me do that. We've still got protection, so we don't need to strip all this out for that, which is great. Uh, we'll get those tacked on and welded in place and we'll weld up this front mount as well. Nice and solid. So, happy days. Righto, so, that's, <coughs> that's those welded. There's a very little slight bit at the front, it's red hot, so I'm going to burn my finger as fucking normal. There's a little bit I can't get into because there's brackets in the way. Um, but, but I'm fine with that, there's nothing wrong with them. <coughs> They're not going to tear off because Ralphie can't get in with a MIG torch to get that last fucking 10 mil. That's fine, and it looks all right, it's tucked away, it's good. I'll give him a clean up with a Y wheel, pardon me. Fucking up about that. It's me effing and jeffing like a drunken fucking pirate. And then a little belch comes out and it's like, oh my God. Uh, right, so I'll give them a quick buff up with what I will on the die grinder. And then we'll get the seat back on. And then uh, we'll call that fucking job done. Righty oh there. Here we go. Bob's your answer. So, here we have one mounted seat with a nice handcrafted bobbins that take a split pin to the springs and these lovely well beautifully engineered fucking hinge and bracket hinge and bracket if you know you fucking know Ta -da. there you go that, that's all there is to it we've done that seat um that's a nice gentle return for me after the new year like i said in the intro which i've recorded two seconds ago i've not moved like i said in the intro is to a wonderful 2024, yeah? It just leaves me as always to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a sub. Check out all the bumps in the description below and I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, catch you on the next one. Lots of love everyone, see you soon.